Hi everyone, it's Leslie Yeoman from Hungry Heavy Crafts and I have a card for you guys today. It is a Christmas card, but it's interactive. It's a double slider card featuring Mama Elephant and some lawn fawn. You know me, gotta love the lawn fawn. So I just got a new die set, the dotted detail dies from Mama Elephant and I had this idea to do an interactive double slider card. So I'm starting off today with this frame and I'm measuring the height and the width and cutting a piece of A4 cardstock to match the width and then scoring it at a similar height uh, twice along my cardstock. So I have this trifold card. On the end section, I'm going to trim just a little sliver off. So when I fold that in, it fits nice and neatly and it doesn't catch on the crease that's already there. So on this section that I've trimmed a little bit off, I'm going to be using that to create my slider mechanism today. Now you can just use a craft knife and ruler, but I'm going to use this little skinny rectangle die that is in the dotted detail collection. And basically you want to create a cut out a little rectangle on both the left hand side and the right hand side of this uh, end section of my card. While I have my cuddle bug out, I'm also going to use this tag die and cut out four tags and um, those will be the sections for the left hand side of my card and the right hand side the bits that we pull out. So for that rectangle I'm going to measure the height of it and then take a standard sandwich bag you can just use a grocery bag and cut a strip of this thin plastic and it's going to be wrapped around this middle section of my card. I'm taking a strip of double-sided sticky tape and sticking both ends together but please don't pull it really tight you want it to be a little loose so that this um, this plastic here can slide back and forth and that will be what creates our slider mechanism. So let's get rid of these end sections here, don't need them. But at this point I'm going to assemble the, the back of the card so um, just take another piece of folded card and use some double sided sticky tape to stick that onto the top section here so that when it is all assembled I have got four panels with the bottom one being the slider mechanism. So let's fold this up and just secure it for the moment with a bit of washi tape so that I can I know what section is the front panel of my card and I'm going to take the tags they're going to go on either side like this with a flat end will be the bit I pull out. Now I also have the little frame here cut out with the same dotted detail die. It's a little bit fiddly so I'm going to use some washi tape to stick the frame onto the interior piece, the rectangle. And I'll measure four and a half centimeters into each of these tags from the flat end and line them up to the middle section and stick them in place with some washi tape so I can see what my card will look like when it is completely pulled out. This way I can use my stitched hillside border dies to create one continuous landscape across the front of my card. So first I'll run it through the cuddle bug with the tags in place then very carefully I'll remove the tags and run it through again. So I have that stitched detail on my middle section of my card as well as on the tags. So now I've done this left hand section, I'll need to move over and do the right hand section. Now you will notice that where it joins it isn't perfect, but we'll cover that up with one of our images. Now our frame did get cut in half, so I've cut another one to go on top to replace that one, which will give a nice finish to the card. So it'll look a bit like this when assembled, but um, for now I'm going to move over to stamping my critters. These are from the Toboggan Together set from Lawn Fawn. And using my Memento Tuxedo Black Ink, I'm going to stamp these onto some Nina Solar White cardstock because I'm using my Copic markers. Now I want this card to have a really soft finished feel. So I'm using some light colors and blending them all out using the colorless blender. Once I have that done, I'm going to trim out each of my little critters, but they do have coordinating dies if um, you want to get them. So here I have my scene it's starting to come to life, but I decided that I wanted to have another hillside in the at the back section of this card. 
So I only want to cut it in this rectangular piece. So I ran that section only through my cuddle bug. And now I'm trying to figure out exactly where I want my greeting to be. There's a stamp call that says Happy Holidays in that Toboggan Together set. So I'm going to use my Misty to stamp that. But I'm also going to use this um, simple stitched hillside border die, which is a nice arc shape, just to help me manipulate the stamp so that it can stamp in an arc on my cardstock. I've stamped and embossed that with clear embossing ink. And while I have my Misty here, I'll also stamp this little tree and cut it out. Now all these sections were a bit fiddly, so to make it more manageable, I decided to stick them down to a piece of copier paper. But unfortunately, I didn't think before I did it, I should have inked up each of my hillsides before I stuck them down. My plan was to use some distressings for that, but never mind, I just grabbed a Copic marker and added some of the color along each of these hillsides here. Once I've added some strokes using that BG10 marker, I blended it out with the colorless blender. Now before I stick down the hills on the tags, I'm going to quickly add the color to those and then I can cut out this front panel. Now I want my uh, front section to have a little notch in it so it's obvious to the recipient that there is an area, there is a bit that you can pull out. And the dotted detail die has this really cool notch die. So this will go on the front like this but the rest of my card still has a flat edge. So I'm grabbing just a simple circle die, that's a spell binders die, to cut a little notch out of the rest of my card. So when I stick this on top there's a beautiful little notch there. So let's add some sticky tape to the front of the card so I can put the front panel in place and then I can know exactly where I want to stick these tags on either side. So let's assemble these and I can continue with the sliding mechanism. So when you look at the plastic bag section, one of my tags is going to go on the top of it and one on the bottom so when it slides they don't interfere with one another. So the trick here is to take this section of your plastic bag, which has the sticky tape on it, bring it right over to the right hand side and put another piece of sticky tape right on top. Then I can decide exactly where I want my right hand tag to go and stick that down in place. Once you open that up again, go to the other side of the plastic bag and with the right hand tag open, put a strip on the far left of this section, a strip of tape here. Then you want to close the right hand side and stick the um, left hand tag in place flush against the edge. So now, now when you fold it all up together you can push them in and out really easily and it closes and it's flush and it looks great. So now let's add a strip of sticky tape along the top here so we can stick and fold this all up and close our card because we don't need it open anymore. So I'll add some tape to that and pretty much the card is done. Well, at least the bare card. <laughs> so let's add our, add our critters here. Now for the tags on either side, I don't want any of my stamped images catching when they go in and out. So I'm using some liquid glue on my finger to spread that all over so I get the glue in all of it, up to all the edges. And then I need to add some stamping to make my card complete. There's a little flourish in the Toboggan Together set and there's similar flourishes in the So Stinking Cute stamp set from Lawn Fawn also. So I'm adding that as well and I'll cover up that seam with my deer. And I have another stamp set called the Holiday Party Animal which has really cute little accessories like this Santa hat and the candy cane and the present, which I thought would go really well with my winter scene today. Now there are also some little snowflake stamps in this same stamp set. So I thought it would be cute to add some silver snow falling. And I masked off the frame so I didn't get any on the frame. And that's pretty much the card done. A few little bits to add, for example, some Wink of Stella. And I use some enamel accents on the front panel of the card in the middle of the snowflake so it has a little dimension. 
So there we have it. I hope you've enjoyed the video today. Please leave a like if you have enjoyed it and please subscribe to the channel for more videos from me, Leslie Yeoman from Hungry Heavy Crafts. Here's some more of my videos which we think you might like. Please do check them out if you've got a moment. Thanks for watching everyone and have a great day. Bye.